the second iteration table is starting now. Simplex method is an iterative method. We discussed the first iteration table. Now the second iteration table is discussing here. Now we are going for the second iteration table. That is the simplex method. Moving from 1 to 2, 2 to 3 for obtaining an optimum solution. That is all z minus c's, z values are Z minus Z values are 0 or more than 0. How will you form second iteration table? We need three terminology. That is pivot row, pivot column and key number. That is pivot column coming, pivot row going and controlled by the key number. So what is the first step? Divide the numbers in the pivot row. By the key number, divide the numbers in the pivot row by the key number. How will you estimate other numbers other than the pivot row? That is important. That is a formula. For other numbers, use the following relationship. That is, new number is equal to the old number, the number already in this table minus. The corresponding number in the pivot row, pivot row number, pivot row number into corresponding number in the pivot column divided by key number, divided by that product divided by key number. Then we get second iteration, then we find z, then we go for z minus c. If all z minus c's are positive, then the solution is optimum, otherwise we need Third iteration. Let us evaluate the numerical values by these concepts. Look the elements. How will you follow or calculate the elements? We are moving into the pivot row column or the initial table. Initial table. What is the formula? The number in the pivot row. Pivot row. Divided by key number. I am exhibiting in green ink the number new numbers. 100 by 5. 2 by 5. 5 by 5. 0 by 5. 1 by 5. 0 by 5. Every element in the pivot row is divided by the key number. Then pivot column. Look here, 50, the old number 50 minus. This computation is most important. You should follow, you should study, you should understand this computation. 50 minus the corresponding number in the pivot row, 50 minus 100 into corresponding number in the pivot column, 1, 100 into 1 by the key number. By the key number 50 minus 100 by 5. 50 minus 100 by 5. 50 minus 20. That is 30. 30. This number is 30. 30. How will you find 2? Corresponding to old number 2. The existing number is 2. This number 2. 2 minus the corresponding number in the pivot row. 2 into 1 by 5, 2 minus 2 by 5, that is 2 minus 5, 10 minus 2, 8 by 5, this number is 8 by 5. Similarly, we compute all the numbers, this becomes 0, this becomes 1. This becomes minus one, five, 1 by 5. Minus 1 by 5. 0. Please compute all the numbers. How? Formula. How will you calculate this number? 1. Existing number minus the corresponding number of the pivot row. 5. Into corresponding number of the pivot column. 
वन कस्पर की नंबर फाइव वन माइनस वन इक्वल टू सूरो दिस इस सूरो इन द सेम फैशन वी कैन गेट नंबर्स कियर नाइंटी फॉर नाइंटी दिस नंबर इस नाइंटी नाइंटी माइनस हंड्रेड इनटू द कस्पर नंबर इन द पिवट कॉलम थ्री बाय फाइव नाइंटी माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड बाय फाइव नाइंटी माइनस सिक्सटी Equal to thirty. It is so simple, so very simple numerical computation. Thirty, you get thirty. Similarly, you get here two minus two minus the corresponding number in the pivot row. Two minus two into three by five. Two minus six by five. That is four by five. That is ten minus six. By five equal to four by five. This number is four by five. Zero, zero minus zero, zero minus one into minus three by five, and one minus one. Okay, what is the formula? That is once again I repeat this formula. That is old number minus existing number minus. Number in the pivot row, corresponding number in the pivot row, into corresponding number in the pivot column, divided by key number. Study this well. This is the most important formula. Only one formula using in simplex method. Now I am going to exhibit this table once more. The adjusted table once more. Now. The second iteration table in, is illustrating from this mixer table. Now it is mixer. In figures are so mixer here. So I am exhibiting the second iteration table. The cost yes one. The variable is yes one. No change. The last time this was fifty. Now it is thirty. Its value that is second iteration table. S one is thirty. S one is thirty. Then what about the cost of S one? Cost of S one from our objective function which is zero. The new elements are eight by five, zero, one, minus one by five. Zero. Just copying this value. Just copying this value for convenience, for appearance. Then yes, two is change. That is the simplex method. That's iteration. In the first table, one variable is left out and one variable is included. We input y. So the variable y is included. It is y. What about the cost of y in our objective function? Four x plus ten y. Ten y. The cost of y. Our objective function was. 4x plus 10y. The cost of y is 10. That element is here. And from the new table, we get y as 20. 20. And the corresponding elements are 2 by 5, 1, 0, 1 5, 0. That is the modification. And Third one is yes three itself. Its cost is zero. Here its value was ninety. Now it is changed into thirty. Next element is four by five. The next element is zero, zero. Then minus three by five. One. That is the second iteration table. We have first iteration table with us. We can use that table for computation, and it is filtered. It is presented in terms of second iteration values only. This is a mixture. Ignore it. Then what? The, the next step: calculating is it? Is it? Is it? That is by our objective function: zero into thirty, zero plus ten into twenty plus zero into thirty, zero plus thirty plus ten into twenty. Plus zero into thirty. That is two hundred. That is two hundred. 
grams that is 200 0 into 30 0 into 30 plus 10 into 20 plus 0 into 30 equal to 200 that is the value of z value of z then next 0 into 8 by 5 plus 10 into 2 by 5 10 into 2 by 20 by 5 that is 4 4 0 into 0 plus 10 into 1 plus 0 into that is 10 10 10 into 0 0 10 into 1 by 5 2 10 into 0 0 since these two elements are zeros the computation is so simple then go for z minus c z minus c we are playing for all positive values of z c z minus c if z minus c is positive the solution is optimum otherwise we have to repeat the same procedure so now we are playing for all values of z minus c are 0 or more than 0 let us see 4 minus 4 0 10 minus 10 0 0 minus 0 0 2 minus 0 0 minus 0 by God's grace all values of z minus c are positive therefore our solution is optimum we have we get the optimum solution for our problem we get the required solution let us let us see for the solution the solution space is this is the solution space the solution space is given here here this is a basic solution this is a solution space this is a solution space what was our problem our problem was maximize is it is equal to 4x plus 10y that was our problem is it is equal to 4x plus 10y whatever it may be here we calculate z from here s1 is equal to 30 solution that is solution s1 is 30 y is equal to 20 s3 is equal to 30 this is a solution space this is a solution space but in our problem there wasn't there is no s1 there is an s3 so our solution the only required solution is here is y y is equal to 20 y is equal to 20 there is no x here there is no x that means the value of x is equal to 0 then we derived our solution as our solution as we need not we need not the uh, solutions of s1 s2 etc we need only solutions of x and y here x is not seen x is equal to 0 and y is equal to y is equal to 20 then what about this our objective function is z is equal to z is equal to 4x plus 10y and we obtained the solution as x equal to 0 and y is equal to 20 and z is equal to 200 that is here s1 equal to 30 need not required y is equal to 20 that is the solution s3 is equal to 30 that is not required and z is equal to 200 that is the final solution so this problem is solved for final values and one more all the constraints all the constraints are satisfied with respect to this solution this solution this is a simple simplex method problem simple problem it's a problem of direct standard form that is maximization and constraints are less than or equal to direct standard problem but simplex method is a wide variety of problems have to solve by simplex method this is only a tip of the iceberg it is not simple but it is not complex some numerical ability is required it is better to calculate values by numerical ability other than calculator that is my point of view there are several types of problems here we define a simple what about if the problem is of minimization what about if the problem of greater than or equal to constraints in that case we have to add some other 
concepts known as surplus variables etc 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 that will discuss in the next class this is a simple direct solution of a standard linear programming problem wait for the other classes thank you